So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to fix a Samsung TV that's been struck by lightning. Now to start out, you can see I've removed the stand the TV sits on, and a number one Phillips is all you'll really need to do this job. All right, so next, you wanna remove the screws. There's ones that go all around the outside, but then you have one here, right where the power goes in, and then you have one right here where your component goes in. There are also four screws right here, uh, and they're the only screws that are actually different like this this screw and all the screws go on the outside are all the same kind of just Plastic screws where these are actually like machine thread screws. They're pretty easy to identify if you just throw all of them in a pile So now we can see uh, the back side of the TV and this is what we're gonna be concerned about now you may be able to tell by looking at this, but you can see uh, there's just charred kind of dark areas here, here, and I think that's really all that hit this board and like over here as well, just kind of this general area uh, seems to have been hit by the lightning the most. But if you don't see something like that and the TV still doesn't work, you can, uh, if you have a multimeter, you can set it to the Shizzle sound symbol to the diode tester. And right here is a fuse. If this were to be broken, uh, this is gonna, See right there? That means that there's continuity through that fuse. So it means that that fuse is good, whereas all this stuff is obviously not good. If you wouldn't have heard a beep there, you could actually get away with just replacing this fuse, and I'm sure it's cheaper than buying this whole board. It's pretty pretty cheap just to replace this, and this is just a, like a power supply board, pretty, uh, pretty basic. So what we're gonna do, just set this right here, I guess, somewhere, right there. We got a screw here, 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 and then we got these two clips that are holding it on. These clips aren't too bad to remove. Sometimes it needs a flathead or something. I'm gonna to try to use my multimeter probe. Unclip it, there we go. Okay, now we have those aside and we're just going to take the screws out and remove the power supply. So now the old board is off. We're just gonna take the new board, set it on there, and uh, start reinstalling it in the opposite order that we removed the old one and we're just gonna install the new board and put it all back together. And don't forget these connectors once you screw it down. Now some things, whenever you put them back together and you're not sure if they're gonna work, uh, you may not wanna put everything back together in case you wanna try to fix a new part on it. But in this case, I would just say if it doesn't turn on after you replace the power supply board, uh, just throw it in the garbage. There's not really any hope for it after that. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We have it all back together and nothing. So as you can see, this didn't fix the problem, but typically that's how you would fix a TV that's been hit by lightning, a Samsung at least. These power supplies are kind of a weak spot for when they get hit, and as you can see, mine got cooked. So I just went ahead and tried to make a move to replace it, and in this case, it didn't work out. I think it's probably a, a good indicator whether it's gonna work or not, whether or not this fuse is blown. Because in a good situation, this fuse would blow, and this would be, well, I mean, the majority of the board would be saved and the rest of the TV would be saved. But if this is intact, uh, there's a good chance that a lot of power went through the whole TV and cooked everything. So uh, that may just be where you want to start, but I could be wrong. So if this video helped you out, I mean, by leaving a like and a comment if you have any other ideas and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.